All right, we got chicken cacciatore tonight with rice pilaf and Caesar salad. So these are the ingredients we're going to use. We got to sharpen the knife, get it all ready to go. Got our nice, lovely chef's knife, easy to sharp, easy to cut, easy to use. Got our cabbage, we're going to chop up some carrots. We do some celery, some onions, we got some mushrooms. The tomatoes are very ripe, but the nice slice right, slices right through it. I have four chicken breasts and some chicken legs. You're taking the fat off, just a quick slice and a little push, and it goes right through the chicken bone. That's what a good knife should do. Roll it right through. There we go. So we get all the chicken nicely cut up and good to go. What time we got? 6.19. So we're going to do this meal in less than an hour. So uh, we got a chicken cacciatore. We're going to brown the meat. So it takes a little longer because I want the chicken to be cooked so nicely that it's falling off the bone. We're going to brown that chicken for about 15 minutes. For a rice pilaf, we're going to dice an onion. Pilaf basically means it's cooked in the oven. But we're going to bake it in an oven on top of the stove. Generally what you do for pilaf is you saute something like some onions or celery or carrots or something like that with the rice before you add the liquid. What we do today is I'm going to dice this onion. We're going to uh, dice up some carrots as well and uh, get some fresh thyme chopped into the mix so we get it nice and yummy and good to go because we want to have a good time tonight. All right, so we take the thyme right off the stick and then we just chop it all up, mix it with the onions and the carrots. And uh, I'm going to put about a, a teaspoon of uh, olive oil into our two-quart pot. We've got it in medium heat. It's nice and hot. A little bit of garlic paste and we're going to saute it. We're going to saute that up until it becomes a little translucent, about a minute and a half or so. Then we're going to add our rice, and I'm always amazed how much rice comes out of our pots. One cup of rice will make three quarters of a pot of rice here, this is done. You will see how it fluffs up when we give it a good stir. So we saute the rice in there, cook it all nicely, so it's good to go. Then uh, for one cup of rice, we're going to add one and a half cups of chicken broth. 634, 15 minutes, we flip the chicken, nicely browned. Almost like we're doing crispy fried chicken, but I'm going to uh, flip the chicken over, then I'm going to add onions. We're going to add some freshly chopped rosemary and some thyme. We're going to add in some sliced sun-dried tomatoes to give it a bit of a zing. And add all the vegetables, cabbage, mushroom. we got tomatoes, onions, celery, extra garlic, and all in there. We're going to have some French beans we're going to add in at the end. So the whistle for the rice is going off. We shut that vent, turn the stove off, and let it sit. The whistle for the vegetable uh, cacciatore, the chicken cacciatore has gone off. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give it a little mix, but you want to be careful because you don't want all the meat to start falling off the bones. So we give it a little bit of a mix up to get things uh, stirred around a little bit, looking good in the bottom there. We're going to add in one can of crushed tomatoes. So the crushed tomatoes go in, a little bit of chicken broth to thin it out, and some dry herbs. We've got some oregano, basil, and marjoram, Italian mix. Then what we're going to do is we're going to let that cook for a little bit. Give it a nice mix. We've got your chicken broth, we've got 645, so it's just about uh, 25 minutes in the go here. Now we make a Caesar salad. Start off with Caesar salad dressing, which is egg yolks. So we're going to take a couple of egg yolks, three egg yolks is what I'm going to use. We separate the whites from the yolks, put them into the bowl. Now it's very important when you're making uh, mayonnaise or Caesar dressing not to add the oil too fast so it splits. You want the oil to emulsify nicely with the uh, egg yolk and the Dijon mustard. So what I got in here is a bit of uh, Worcestershire sauce. I usually use Tabasco. I'm out so I'm using a bit of chili. I got some garlic paste I'm going to put into that. We have three eggs. I'm going to use a little bit, uh, about a half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, half a cup of white vinegar and also a little bit of lemon juice we're going to squeeze into that thing. So we got on the go. Now, I don't like to use only olive oil in my salad dressings. I find it a bit overpowering. So today I'm using peanut oil. So I'm going to start with the peanut oil and then we're going to finish it with a little bit of olive oil in the end. Mixed up, hasn't split, holding its shape, beautiful. We're going to slice some bread into some uh, little chunks here for croutons. Mix them with dried garlic and dried onions. Mix a little bit of olive oil in with that. Mix it all up and we're going to throw it in the uh, small frying pan or the medium heat to toast them up. When you're toasting your croutons, don't forget to keep an eye, you don't want to burn these. Alright, so we get them right into the pan and let them fry up. Once they're all done, I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese and some green onions to our, bread, our uh, croutons. So we're going to let that brown for probably about 8 to 10 minutes and just keep giving it a toss every once in a while. Let's have a quick peek at what's going on at Chicken Cacciatore because i got 701. We're going to be done within 15 minutes. So now I put my French beans into here. We want them to cook in the end, so they still have a little bit of a crunch when we serve the dinner. We're going to chop our romaine lettuce, and I'm chopping with a knife, and we're going to serve it right away. So that's good. So the romaine goes into the bowl, and uh, we're going to be good to go soon. We've got our beans cooking, everything moving around. It's a little bit wet. I think I want to reduce it a bit more, so I'm going to let it cook another 10 minutes. 
move it around a little bit there so uh, we can get some of that moisture to uh, evaporate and reduce down to make it a thicker sauce. So at this point I'm going to leave the lid ajar for the last 10 minutes just to reduce that sauce and let some of the moisture evaporate. Beans looking good, nice color, like dinner like this. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the lid on and just let it simmer for another 10 minutes. I'm on a, a medium low heat at this point and dinner's almost ready. That's the way we like to do it. All right, so now we got 7.15, it's been 50, what's it, 7.20, 620 we started, right? So like 55 minutes and dinner's ready. Our rice pilaf, now we got just over half a pot. As soon as they give this a stir, you're gonna see how it fluffs up. I'm always amazed, that was one cup of rice. There's gonna be enough rice for all of us, which is great. So we got our carrots and our herbs in there, chicken broth, give it some extra flavor. Whoops. And then uh, we have chicken cacciatore with rice pila and the Caesar salad. Oh, gotta get our dressing on there. So we put a little bit of a salad dressing around the Caesar, some Parmesan cheese, a little bit of Parmesan cheese and the chicken cacciatore. And that is the way Chef Warren likes to do it at dinner for two.